Hey guys. All right. Um, tooth, <laughs> teeth things. I've gone through two of these, the mini ones from CVS. They have, I usually buy the bigger tube. I'm actually on a bigger tube. Uh, this is my favorite toothpaste. This is the Crest 3D White Radiant Mint. Uh, that one's more bent. But I've gone through two of these and I already bought it again. Um, my boyfriend actually got me into these. This is a toothpaste he uses and we were somewhere and I used his toothpaste and I really liked it. I was noticing how white his teeth were getting. So I thought, oh, I should try it. Anyways, okay, let's start with hair things. Here I have about four hair things for you. Let's start with the shampoo. So this is the shampoo I use. Uh, this is the Herbal Essence uh, Body Envy Shampoo, Volumizing Shampoo. I really like it. I don't know how well it works on the volume of my hair, but it smells really good. I have already, oh, that smells really good. I've already repurchased this and uh, I actually went crazy. They had a sale and with the coupons, I got, I think it was like limit five of this smaller size for about $1.25 each. So I stocked up. I am good on shampoo and conditioner for a while. But the reason I have finished my shampoo and not my conditioner is because I've been trying to go through samples of conditioner. I got about three uses out of this one. And plus I only wash my hair about three times a week. Yeah, three times a week. So don't go through shampoo too, too fast. So here's one. I have no clue where I got this one. It was just laying in my samples. Ion Repair Solutions Effective Hair Treatment. It was really nice. I don't know where I got it, so I don't know where I'd go to repurchase it. But it seemed pretty good. Maybe sounds? I don't know. And this one, I have a couple more samples to go through, but I would definitely buy this one. Uh, Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. This came in my birch box last month, April, March. I don't know. Sometime within the last couple months, it came in my birch box with uh, the small macadamia oil, and I loved them both. So I would definitely repurchase this. This I only got one use out of, but of course, if I buy the whole thing, then that won't be a problem. Uh, the last thing is this uh, Herbal Essence Tossle Me Softly Finishing Touch Cream, blah, blah, blah. And I've had this for about a year, but that is empty, that is empty, empty. This one smells pretty good too. I like the Tossle Me Softly line. Tossle Me, Tossle Me, Tossle Me Softly line. I think it works really well. I have the spray and gel. I have the mousse, but <laughs> this is the only one I finished. And it was nice to get off my counter. You can see the lid's kind of messed up because I keep piling things on top of it. So let's go into face things. Uh, this is the eye makeup remover that I used up, completely empty. This is the Up and Up Target brand that is a dupe for the Neutrogena one. And I think I, I already purchased it. It's all right. It's a generic uh, makeup remover. And I use it with these that I've also used up, which are the Target brand baby wipes. I really like these. Um, and I usually put this on a baby wipe for my eyes and then just wipe off the rest of my face. Um, and I think it's, I find that it comes out less expensive than buying the makeup remover wipes. I don't know if that's true. Maybe it's just in my head. But that's what I use. Um, I do really like this one because they do feel like cloth. So I would definitely repurchase this one. This one, I think I have one more of these and I bought some at CVS on sale. I don't think there's a real difference between the brands of these, so that's cool. Another miscellaneous is uh, the CVS Cotton Squares, 100 cotton, 100% um, cotton. How many were in here? Oh, there are 200 quilted little pads in there. I use these for sometimes removing eye makeup, sometimes like stuff I miss, uh, removing nail polish, my toner everything so I already bought a new one of this and I do I like the CVS brand just because I get the points back um see more face things I went through a whole thing of this clear days ahead this is uh the fast acting salicy salicylic acid acne spot treatment this is uh from philosophy and I do I did really love this I think this was about 15 16 dollars so I don't know if I'd repurchase it just because of how expensive it was I do want to try the Lush brand. I think it's like Grease Lightning um, Spot Acne thing because, I don't know, it's summer and I've been getting a little bit right here and I really don't like it. Right now I'm using the CVS brand little one. I think I'm almost done with that one too. Um, I don't really see a big difference. Although the CVS brand did dry me out a lot more 
This one doesn't really dry you out. It's a good product. I just think it's expensive. Sample time. Um, this came in one of my birch boxes. It's the Kula Cucumber Mineral Face Sun Block Matte Finish. And I love this. I might actually have to go purchase this for summer. So I use this as a primer and as my sunblock. And it's matte finish and it sometimes like I've been using my Neutrogena a sunblock again under my foundation and it gets me kind of oily. This does not. This is a matte finish sunblock and it is really, oh, it's also chemical free if you are interested in that. Really, really good product. Um, this is the Nude Radiant Day Moisturizer. It just felt like a regular moisturizer. I didn't, it wasn't good. It wasn't bad. It was average. I think I have a few more samples of these. Uh, so I might try and go through those. But it was okay. This is from The Balm. It's the Time Balm Grapefruit Antioxidant Day Face Cream. This made me so oily. Although out of this container, I got about a week's worth. <laughs> yeah, it there was a lot of product in here. This was a plump little sample. But I got about a week's worth of uh, moisturizer in here. But it just made me so oily. It wasn't even hot the week I was using this. And by the end of the day, I was a grease ball with foundations that I've never had a problem being a grease ball before. Boo. So here are some masks. These are the masks from Target, and I have three different kinds. Oh, they got all gunky in the bag. Okay, so here's this one. The Deep Cleansing Aloe Vera Mask that you get to peel off your face. You feel like you're in an alien movie. It was all right. Um, the clarifying, oh no, this is the peel off one, the cucumber. So you can see the peel off residue right there. Again, all right, these blue ones are my favorite. Here, so I've gone through one, two, three. Here's this one, Detoxify Dead Sea Mud Mask. This is my favorite one from Target. You can get about two to three uses out of one pack. Um, sometimes if I don't feel, because I like to keep it in a Ziploc bag in between uses. And sometimes I'll just split it with my mom, my aunt, my grandma, I don't know, whoever's around that day. Amazing. I think they're only like $1.99 at Target. Really, really good product. Let's see, random. Oh, another random one. <laughs> this is my, oh, and it fell. But <laughs> this is my deodorant. This is the deodorant I use. Uh, the Dove Go Fresh in cucumber, mel no, cucumber and green tea. But, um for summer because you know it's hot I use the extra aluminum one okay so finally on to some bath stuff um this okay so I lost my other labels so this is the sugar babe uh scrub from lush and I also have the the green one the sugar scrub the regular green sugar scrub from lush I've actually gone through both of those completely they are awesome I actually really like the green one so it comes in a little thing, but Lush is like anti-packaging. I like to keep things very low maintenance on the packaging. So this is all I have to show for it. Um, actually I actually have a few Lush things here. Um, so this says the olive branch, but this was actually a sample that was completely filled up, given to me by my friend Madi of Snow Fairy. And I had, so I love the scent. So I kept using it very, very sparingly. So it took me a while to get through. And finally the other day I was like washing it out with the water and finally got through it. But this was Snow Fairy, not the olive branch. Um, but that's all gone through. Wonderful, wonderful scent. And this is a sample of their Dream Wash. Pretty big sample. I think they made their sample sizes smaller. Um, so it was full to the top. So my boyfriend used half of it and I used the other half of it. Because he has very like irritated skin and I I don't know I like the suds so I couldn't fall in love with it he found it okay but again he was like I don't know what to do with this it feels like lotion uh his back and his arms where he gets some um like eczema felt much smoother and they stayed smooth for about a week so he's not gonna buy it I might have to go purchase this for him last thing is, um, oh, here's the lid, my Skintimate Strawberry Tangerine Limited Edition. Um, I did not repurchase this in the same scent because I found the, I don't know, Raspberry Rain scent at Costco, and it was three and a mini for the price of two. So I do like the Skintimate brand. 
here you go. I love the packaging on this. I just love shaving my legs and seeing all the hologram in the shower because I'm weird like that. And the last thing is, uh, this was given to me by my friend Devin during Christmas and I finally finished it. Winter Cranberry Antibacterial Soap. I loved having that in my bathroom. My, it's moisturizing soap, yeah. Antibacterial moisturizing hand soap. I just felt that my hands were so soft afterwards and especially in the winter, you know, it's hard to keep your hands soft and I really liked that. I would definitely repurchase that. But it's just the jugs of soap from Costco are so much cheaper, but that is real. I don't know. So we'll see. I think that was, that was it. I'm looking under all my textbooks for other products, but that was all my empties. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you liked my product reviews. Now to go edit this thing. Bye.